Hey guys, I just wanted to show you real quick um, one of our family's favorite meals with veggies from our garden. You'll have to excuse this and anything that you see in the background, it's hard to block it all um, because, yeah, it's been a long day. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear me. But I wanted to show you like super, super quick and easy way that we eat a lot of vegetables. Um, right now in the garden we're bringing in tons of, this is Napa cabbage. Um, I have a whole like three pound head of Napa cabbage that we just brought in and it grows like crazy right now in the winter. Um, in here we have some red Swiss, ch Swiss chard and um, you know obviously great for all kinds of different vitamins and minerals and things that it's just super pretty. I already, I already chopped it up, but it's like really pretty. I've got some tot soy in here. I've got um, some giant Swiss chard, which kind of looks like this. Um, I've got some broccoli from the garden, but I'll show you here. Uh, I'm turn it around because it's... <clears throat> I already have my harder vegetables that are that take a long time to saute. Obviously, I do those first, and then I throw my greens in at the very last minute because these things only take <clears throat> just a few seconds to make. Um, they just basically wilt down. This is a whole, like this is half of my, half of the, I only used half of the Napa cabbage for this meal. This is the other half. Um, but, like I said, tot soy, Swiss chard, Napa cabbage, all of my, my softer greens, I will throw in. Spinach if you have it, throw it in here at the very end. But I've got some broccoli, I've got some carrots that we just pulled up, um, all kinds of stuff. Celery. Uh, I bought the celery, but then we have the peas. I'd say probably a good 80% of this we grew, which is really nice to be able to eat a lot of what you grow. Or have most of what you eat, you grow. If that makes sense. Sorry. This is not your professional cooking video. Here's what I do. I throw all that stuff in here. I saute the harder, the harder vegetables, the things that take longer. Mushrooms, carrots, onions, all that kind of stuff. Um, once it's all kind of tender, then I will throw in a whole bunch of garlic. I buy the minced stuff because we go through so much garlic and I'm lazy. So that's a great alternative. <laughs> Coconut aminos. If, if you like soy sauce, it's the same thing. Um, this is the gluten-free, um, alternative coconut aminos. It's really good. You should look into this stuff. And so I basically I'll do maybe, I don't know three tablespoons ish. I've got a lot of veggies that are going in here. And my kids like a lot of sauce yeah. on their rice. Yeah. <laughs> I have a whole instant pot full of jasmine rice cooking. I've got some steak that I need to take off of the thing. Um, I got some steak that I just seared up and I'm gonna slice up and throw in here. But I can sorry, hold on, pause while I take this off of the, the griddle. Um, I'll slice up the steak and throw it in here. After I do this, I got the coconut aminos, the garlic a little bit of honey. Obviously, I've got to put some honey in here because, well, if you know me, you know why. And it's cold, so it's going to take a while. Um, but it just adds this really delicious, like, sweet and tangy um, flavor with the saltiness of the coconut aminos. Um, obviously, the garlic, we love garlic. I could eat it by the pound. And then a little bit of sweetness from the, um, the honey. And so after I add the honey, I'll turn the heat up just a second, let it kind of all melt together. And then I have my sauce. So once I have all of, and obviously the, the juices from the vegetables, they kind of make the sauce. And so everything's tender, everything's cooked. Now I'm gonna throw my bucket of greens in here. And it usually takes me a minute because, if you guys can see here, sorry. It's like, candles in the background that you don't see right now, but I'm just kind of resting up my phone. So I turn up the heat just for a minute and usually this doesn't all fit. So I have to kind of toss it and turn it and get the warmer stuff from the bottom. I don't know why I just had to go on a live video and show you guys me cooking because it's usually a train wreck, but it's okay. It's delicious. It's just a lot of cleanup, <laughs> kind of like a tornado in the kitchen. <laughs> Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just kind of tossing, getting the hotter sauteed stuff from the bottom on the top, 
and you'll be able to see here in just a minute, all of these greens will wilt down to basically nothing. And this seems like a lot. Like normally I would look at me and be like, there is no way in hell my kids are gonna eat all those greens. Don't even touch anything green. Like they don't wanna, they do. Like I do. Right, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, tell us who has homework on the table. <laughs> um, but they, they really melt down to almost nothing and the sauce with the, the soy or the coconut aminos and the honey and the garlic is so delicious. Like it just, everything tastes like that. And it kind of starting to, starting to, uh, hopefully you guys can see this, it's starting to wilt down here. And I don't want to overcook the greens cause I don't want it to turn into soup, but I do want it to be you know, obviously cooked. All right, there we go. We're almost. And the, the water from the greens will also release, and as they saute and cook down, um, it'll, you know, obviously release a little bit more liquid, which makes more sauce and makes everybody happy. We'll fight for the, like, the last little bit of the veggies because it's got all the sauce in there. So I try to add as much as I can, otherwise we're fighting over it. All right, that's pretty good. Throw the rest of this in. And this Napa cabbage, is, it's the, the harder, whiter, veins stalks i guess um hey lily i'm glad glad she likes it um these harder stalks they'll they'll remain a little bit crisp they're almost like a celery kind of texture so um it's a nice combination of you know the the crisp stalks i think that's the word for it right my brain power is like 10 percent right now guys i'm telling you like 6.40 or like an hour late for dinner than usual and just like let's just shovel this in. <laughs> Alright, well I just wanted to show you guys how I make that um, and how to get like 900 vegetables into your, it's probably not 900, obviously. Let's see, we've got onion, celery, carrot, mushrooms, broccoli, tatsoi, swiss chard, um, Napa cabbage, and I know I'm forgetting a whole bunch of other ones in there too, but I'll go back and I'll go back and really think about it and um, let you know how many are in. Like, what else is in here? Celery? Did I say celery? I don't know, but a lot. There's a lot of vegetables in here that normally would be very hard for me to convince my kids to eat. But that little bit of steak that I cook, you know, I don't cook like a massive amount. Um, I've got these cube steaks here that I already have seared, um, and I'll just saute these up, or no, I'm sorry, not saute, uh, slice them up and mix them all in, and boom, I just made expensive-er steak. We buy the stuff from our neighbor down the road. It's delicious. It's actually really well, really well priced, but I mean, we just try to um, limit our meat consumption as much as possible. You know, your whole plate shouldn't be full of meat. It should be mostly vegetables. Whether you want to hear it or not, it should. And I'm the same way. I'm like, eh, but I really just like meat and potatoes. I do too. But this makes it stretch out a lot and throw a whole bunch of greens. Um, throw this on top of a bed of jasmine rice, a little bit of steak sauteed up. I'll throw the steak in here and mix it all up whenever they, this is all um, kind of cooked down. Super easy. Just a handful of ingredients. I have this like once a week because it's so easy and so quick. All right, well, hopefully you guys liked this glimpse into how we eat all of the vegetables that we grow. And this makes me want to grow even more because I need to grow celery now. I need to grow a whole bunch of stuff. The too late to grow carrots. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to go out this week and probably Danielle and plant some more carrots. It might get too hot for them. I mean, we've had like a super hot spring already, it seems like. Um, it might get too hot for carrots, but I mean, I'm gonna throw them in there and see why not. I feel like we're pretty good. I think we're probably right on the cusp of it being too late, but throw some in the ground and see what happens. All right, well, that's my giant massive amount of greens that we grew. Only took a few months. If you don't have a winter garden, you should totally grow one because it's very easy. Um, and here we go. That's our veggie stir fry. We got some steak here that we're going to be slicing up and throwing in here. And 
put it on the top of a bed of jasmine rice. And it is, it's, if you haven't done Instant Pot jasmine rice, you should totally do it because it's awesome. Never, never too sticky. Um, but here we go. Bon appetit. Let me know what you guys put in your stir fry. I always am curious other people. I mean, other families have their own, like, special favorite meals. And maybe you throw something in yours that I haven't even thought about. Maybe I can grow it. <laughs> Bye, guys.